In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about motion typography and create this minimalist title animation. Let's power up our PowerPoint and open up a blank new slide. The first step we'll start with is adding our title and subtitle that we'll later animate. So let's add our title text first. Let's format the font and the size. And as an added touch, let's go into our font options, go to character spacing and change normal to condensed by about 7 points. Then let's add our subtitle and let's format this to be much smaller than the main title. Let's go over to our font options once again and this time change it to expanded by about 17 points. Let's ensure both are center aligned and let's make sure that the two text boxes are not overlapping. Now that we have our text set up, the next step is to add masked shapes that will be in layers and will be animated later. That is what will bring movement to our animation. So let's first bring in the colors we'll be using. We'll be using this pink as the background highlight color. So let's copy it, bring the shape over to our title text. Let's drag it across and send it to back. Let's fit it to the text just so. Let's select both and ensure they're middle aligned. Now before we create any other masks, let's go over to our selection pane and make sure we name everything properly to reduce the amount of confusion that we might face later. So let's name this as the title highlight. As you keep creating layers, make sure you keep naming them. Then let's create another mask to go over the title. So let's copy the pink and let's change the color to the light color. Let's ensure that it covers our previous layers exactly. And we can also do that by making sure they're all selected and center and middle aligned. Let's rename this as our title mask. We'll create similar masks for our subtitle as well. So let's copy this over, bring it down to our subtitle and make it smaller just so it fits the subtitle. Let's change the color to our highlight color and send it to back. Let's make sure we rename this mask as well as subtitle highlight. Then let's make one more copy of this. Again, ensure it's exactly placed and this time change it to the background color. We'll call this one the subtitle mask. Let's drag our subtitle over the mask. Again, let's select everything. Make sure it's both center and middle aligned. And we can select all our objects and once again, just check the alignment. And finally, we have one last mask to create. Let's copy our title mask and drag it down to the bottom. And then let's go up so that this mask just covers the uh, subtitle mask and send it to back. So it should look something like this. And you can refer to all your labels to make sure everything is in order. Having created the mask, it's time to set up our animation. Leaving our selection pane open, let's go over to the animations tab and open our animation pane as well. Then from our selection tab, Let's select the title. Let's add a fly in animation. Set it to enter from left and increase its duration to 150. Then let's set it to start with previous. Go over to effect options and maximize the smooth end. So it should fly in from the left. Let's check it out. And it's hidden behind our mask. Then Let's select our title animation. Again, give it a fly in animation. 
this time from the other side, so from right. Set it to start with previous and increase the duration to 1. And once again in effect options, increase the smooth end to its maximum. So it should look something like this. After that, let's go back to our selection pane and find the title highlight that we had, the one in pink. Let's set that to fly in, leave it from bottom and let's increase this to one second as well. Let's go over, set it with previous and again effect options, smooth end. Next, we'll add the only exit animation we'll be using, which will be on this, the title mask. So let's find our exit animations and add a flyout, and let's have it fly out to the right. Let's go back to our animation pane again. Start with previous, duration of one, and then effect options, this time give it a smooth start. So it should look something like this. The final animation we will be adding is for our subtitle highlight. So let's find that in our selection pane and we'll give it the same animation that we gave to the subtitle itself. So let's have it fly in from the right at one second with previous and a smooth end. So as you can see, we've added about five animations and all put together, it should look like this. Our final step, we can simply add this background. So let's drag in a color. You can also change the background color. I'm just adding this box. And let's send it to back. So at your final product, visually you should only see the title animation visible. Then if you go into full screen and play it, that looks really awesome. So if you'd like to try this out yourself, I'm making this file available for a free download. The link is in the description, check it out. However, if you don't want to go through the trouble of creating all these masks and animations yourself, why not check out our brilliant PowerPoint template with over a hundred different motion typography animations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.